right, everyone, uh, welcome back to Minecraft modding. If you don't know Java, this is episode two, where I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, custom items and custom blocks. We're just going to be doing simple items and blocks today. So nothing with like when you right click, it does this, that and the other thing. Just going to like items you'd use for crafting and blocks you can place down in the world. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to your uh, all of your folders here. You're going to make a new package, and we're going to call this core. Not with a 3 for an E, it's not 2012. Anyway, what core is, is this is where you're going to keep all of your registry classes. So it's where you're going to store all of your uh, blocks, items, everything that you create will end up here. So... In here we're going to make our blocks class so i'm just going to call this mod blocks and inside this mod blocks class here this is where we're going to make our first block so how we get started with making a block is we have to make a way to register our blocks so that way the game knows what to do with the blocks and adds them so to do this we use something called a deferred register uh, which just takes all of the blocks that we create throws them through the loop and tells the game, hey, these exist, put them here. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a one of these deferred registries. And how you do that is you make something public, static, final, deferred, that's not how you spell deferred, deferred register. So this takes in what's called a generic. That's what these, uh, to triangle brackets mean it means that the deferred register here takes in uh, pretty much any class that extends iForge registry entry so things that extend iForge registry entry are things like blocks items block entities entities in general so we can put any of those in here so for now we're going to put in block Make sure it is the Minecraft world level block. And we're going to call our registry blocks. Because it is final, you make it all capitals. That is just the naming convention. So this is going to equal a deferred register dot create forge registries dot blocks. And then your mod ID, which we created in the last tutorial under hopefully I can learn to type tutorial mod dot mod ID. There we go. This is our all we need to do to create a deferred register. So now it is time to use this deferred register to create a block. So how we do this is we make a public static final registry object of block. We call this whatever we want our block to be named so i'm just going to call this mod block and this is going to equal our uh, deferred register dot register the name of our block again mod underscore block this is the name like you know how when you slash give yourself something it slash give minecraft diamond this will then equivalent to slash give the name of your mod so in our case tutorial mod colon mod block All right, and now this is going to take in uh, a supplier of this. So uh, to make a to make it a supplier, we make this brackets arrow thing. It's called a lambda. And now this is where we make our block. So this is a new block, which takes in properties. So it's going to take in block behavior dot properties dot of and we'll just do uh material dot stone oh right i forgot we have to add a lambda there to make this a supplier of block all right so that is the block created here now what we have to do is we have to go back to our main class here which we generated before and we type mod blocks dot blocks dot register bus 
All right. So that should be our block mostly created. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the link in the description and you're going to download a program that is called the, give it a second, the JSON factory. So what this does is this makes your block items, uh, like your block models, your block item models, your block states, your loot tables, all that stuff. It makes that for you. So you don't have to go and painstakingly type out all these JSON files or copy paste them and just change one thing. So we're going to select these first four here. And we're going to put in our mod ID, which I made tutorial mod, I'm pretty sure. Let me just double check. Yep. Colon mod underscore block. Yes, there we go, mod underscore block. We're gonna click generate. Now, we need to locate where we have our mod saved. So I have mine under this mods folder, under tutorial, and then source, main, resources. And this is where you wanna stop. You're gonna hit save gonna make that ding and if we look under our resources here see it created this assets tutorial mod made our block states made everything for us now all we need to do is make the textures so we're gonna make a new directory and we're gonna call that textures a new directory in there we're gonna call that block and now I'm just going to grab a block texture from one of my many mods that I've worked on. Let's go, let's go with this one. I'm just gonna paste this in and we're gonna call it mod underscore block dot PNG. Now what we need is we need the block item. So we're gonna go mod items. And we're going to do very similar stuff to what we did before. So we're going to make a public static final deferred register. But this is going to take in instead of block, it's going to take an item. Make sure to import the proper item. Items equals deferred register dot create forge registries dot items colon tutorial mod dot mod ID all right now we're gonna make our item public static final registry object item and this will again be called mod underscore block equals new. Oh, sorry, no, e equals items dot register mod underscore block, comma, a lambda to new item. And this takes an item dot properties dot. Oh, sorry. This takes a new item dot properties dot tab. And then we're just going to put this in to creative mode tab dot tab building blocks. Actually, what you need to do is you need to make this a new block item. And that will take in your block. So that is mod blocks dot mod block, comma. Oh, sorry, dot get. And then this. And back over to our main thing here. Put in mod items. 
dot items dot register bus. All right, that should be everything. Now to run the game, you only have to do this once. You go into this Gradle tab here, tasks, Forge Gradle runs, Gen IntelliJ runs. Let this run out its thing. You only have to do this the first time. Every other time you can just hit your play button or your debug button up here. As you can see, I only have a debug button because I got rid of my play button. It was annoying because I like being in debug mode all the time. So then you just run client and this will open the game for you. When you are creating your blocks and your items, everything down here in your resources, like your, like your block states, you have to make sure that all of them are exactly the same. So you see it's mod underscore block and the name mod underscore block. Everywhere needs to be mod underscore block for the name. Here we go, here's the game loading. All right, then you just make a new creative world. You can mess with your own video options there. All right, now that we're in the game, uh, I've already created a new world accidentally. But you're gonna have to create your new uh, creative world. Join in, have our item, there you go. There's your new block. All right, now we are just going to create a basic item. Let me get rid of that, that's just my run. Just some item that you have in the game. So this is gonna be, again, public static final registry object item. And this is going to be called mod underscore item equals items dot register mod underscore item lambda, which I wish there was a shortcut to make. Uh, there might be, I just don't know it. And this will just take a new item, new item dot properties dot uh it, it let's say it's fire resistant and that it has uh actually pretty much fire resistant the only thing you can really do here tab and then we can actually make our own creative mode tab in here by making a public static final creative mode tab I'm just going to call it tab equals new creative mode tab. Add a semicolon there. It'll make all this stuff for you. And then we're going to return this mod mod underscore block dot get dot get default instance. Oh, and then this takes in your mod ID. So tutorial mod dot mod ID. Then we can make both of these tabs just our mod tab semicolon at the end there. And all right. We'll run the thing again. This icon, if you don't really have any textures yet, you can just have this return, uh, like items dot apple is what I usually do. Dot get default instance. So I've forgotten a step, but not to worry. This is giving me an opportunity to show you a cool trick that I have learned. In the time I have been modding. So we're going to put this down here so I can show you my error. You can see that if we go over to here, we have our tab here. See this mod item has no texture. I forgot to give it a texture. So a cool thing that you can do if you're running in debug mode 
is you can uh, add in the textures and then keep your game running and see in game the uh, you getting those textures. So I'm just gonna grab a texture from uh, an old mod that I had. I'm just gonna grab this steel ingot. So it would be under textures, new directory item. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh wait. And then we're gonna paste it in there. We'll call it mod underscore item. Okay. Then back in this GUI thing here. We're just going to do item, basic item model, generate, resources, save, oh, cancel, mod underscore item, forgot to change the name, sorry, resources, save, and if we go under here, models, there's item, mod item, now if we hit this hammer up here, this is how you build the project. The steel class is reloaded. And then we come in here and we hit F3 and T. Hold F3 and then press T. This is a default thing in Minecraft just to reload your textures. And there you go. Now your item has a texture. And then we have our custom block and our custom item. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful. Uh, please leave a request on what you'd like to see next. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright. Okay, bye.